So in this section, we talked about pricing type. Now there are so many different words with pricing, right? So like like pricing condition type, pricing condition record, right? Pricing condition category, pricing condition class. There's there's so many things that start with pricing. So pricing type could get lost among these. Pricing type is not any of these, but it definitely uses all these elements or some of these elements at least, category, classes. So what is a pricing type? If you want a very simple layman's quick answer to a pricing type, pricing type controls how to reprice a document or line item. If at all you have to reprice, how do you? If you do not even want to reprice it, yeah, there is a pricing type for that. So basically, the simplest explanation of pricing type is how to reprice a document or the line item is what it is. Nothing else. How to reprice a line item or the entire document. We have seen some examples of redetermining pricing, meaning, you know, if you want to start over from scratch, you know, I've determined a price of $1,000 for a line item. For example, example, line item 10, price is $1,000, right? We have given a discount, let's say 100 euros is the discount, so the total is 900, plus let's say the tax comes in, everything else comes in, freight comes in, say add a freight of 50, right? So 950 is the total price. This is something that we have done manually. Adding price, giving a discount. Let me start over from scratch. How can you do it? You want to erase all of that, right? This change, this change, and then it should start with $1,000. How do you do that? You can update with a pricing type of B. B means carry out new pricing. So forget everything that I have done all the manual changes, anything else that I've done, start over from scratch. Now that's pretty powerful. It, it does a whole lot of things like we have seen. It starts over from scratch, number one. It pulls any changes in the condition records, does look at scale changes. There's so many things that it does. It's, it's like adding a new line item, remember. When you want to start over from scratch, it's like adding a new line item. Now that's not the only way to do it, right? Sometimes, we have seen an example where there was a $1,000 price and then we have given $100 a discount. So the net was 900 And then there was a freight, added freight of, let's say, $50, right? Now, 950 so this is a plus, this is a plus. 950 is your price. You want to redo, let's say the price has been changed, okay? This was created on Jan 1st and uh, now it's um, the quotation has been sent over. Let's say it's a quotation and uh, come it's March 1st and the user has responded and said, hey, you know what, I would like to go ahead with that quotation. Maybe the manual discount that you have given still applies. Maybe the freight still applies, but the price could have changed. You want to check that, right? In that case, use pricing type C. What does C do? C redoes everything else except for manually entered elements, like the manually entered discount that you have given, manually entered freight that you have given. So if the price has been changed, let's say from 1000 to, let's say, 1100 or whatever price change has happened, will now be included. So 1000 minus 1100 minus 100 is 1000. Right? Plus 50 is 1050. That's going to be our new price. And this can only be done if you use pricing type C. No other way this can be done. <laughs> right? Unless you add a new line item. In which case, yeah, this happens. Right? But you lose these. The, the manual discount you have given, the manual fight you have given, they'll all be lost. Right? When you enter a new line item. So if you want to reprice an existing line item, but include all manual changes, use pricing type C.
So these were some examples of pricing types that we have seen. A, B, C, G, H. Now, where is this configured? Like I said, there's no way you can configure pricing type in SPRO. It's all done in this little program. It's actually a little program, not more than 20 lines. RV61AFZA. All the standard definitions are already appended to the structure, Stu. If you want to create your own pricing types, this is the piece of program that you have to do. And your ABAP consultant will do it for you. So you have basically four parameters that you basically play with. You know, the key parameters. Condition class. Condition. This is, let's say, number one. Condition class. Number two, condition category. Number three, if a condition type has been manually entered, in which case SAP can give a professional treatment or ignore it. Right? And number four is scales. These are the key, you know, parameters that control or levers that control how a pricing type behaves. So you have your hands. So SAP gives you these key four parameters to create your own pricing type based on which you can redo pricing any which way you want based off of these four parameters.